joins in at the end of the devil goes down to georgia <laughs> exactly you know it the jonathan sheldon of the group <laughs> well so that so that is wild rust live in the studio cake so you get 8.9 and like i said if you guys didn't know every every tuesday you hear them perform That's theme song that's true. Right? Now, is, is that an original song that you guys wrote for the program? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Public domain. Oh, okay. 100%. Okay, well, that's good. That's very smart as it'd be, well. It'd be Carter Cooper or something. Five years old, at least. Well, uh, so obviously you guys are LA-based outfit. Yes. Here, and you guys sort of you know, peppered all over the city? You guys sort of are based on one side of town? Uh... Glendale-ish, Burbank-ish, Glendale? North Hollywood. Uh, well, we're all kind of valley dwellers, yeah. I guess, mm -hmm. in that part of the valley. So a uh, couple of gentlemen here, uh, Kim and Mark, I play at a bluegrass jam with a lot. There's this North Hollywood bluegrass jam. Uh, Jonathan, you live in North Hollywood, correct? Sherman Oaks. Sherman Oaks, okay, and then uh, Michael, you live in Glendale, I think, and we're in La Crescenta, which oh. is just north of Glendale. Yeah, seems, like yeah. some, seems like that's the concentration of artists right now. I mean, you guys were there before it was cool. You guys made it cool, <laughs> and now we're following you. Very <laughs> You're too kind, man. <laughs> well, that's great. So, um, obviously, you know, you guys have a little history on the show for, for doing the theme and stuff yeah. like that. Have you guys ever performed on the show before? Is this your first time? First time. Really? First time, yeah. All right. Well, it's, I feel special. Very special. Night. I do. I feel very special. <laughs> yeah. I said I've heard that song so many times. Now I know. Well, That's we're bored of it. You guys, you guys have another, another theme song for us. <laughs> we'll write one. Oh. Okay, great. On the spot. So, I have I have one on the way. Okay. <laughs> we're the guest host, but we're picking a new theme song. Yeah, yeah. Pushing their weight around everybody. Um. So. What's what's you guys? How did you form as this group, Wild Rust? Well, this is my wife Margo, and I'm Mark. So we've been uh, singing as a duo for probably dating back to 2016. Mm -hmm. You know, where we rec recorded our first like EP, then mm -hmm. four songs, and then we did another EP. But it was electric, and it was uh, somewhere around 2019 uh, we switched to acoustic, and I think it was inspired by uh, that famous documentary on PBS. You know. Um, I don't Ken know if I can Burton say the name. Yeah, the Ken yeah, Burns documentary. Yeah. And uh, that was very inspirational to me and her. She never knew this type of music existed. And, and me, it was very new to me, too, playing it uh, that way uh, with an acoustic instrumentation, going way back, doing traditional stuff. And I met these, I met Jonathan in the scene. Uh, he's playing with all kinds of bands, you know, very highly in demand uh, <laughs> fiddle player. And uh, and like I said, these two, uh, Mike is solid plays in other bands too, multi-instrumentalist, uh, piano, trumpet, uh, accordion, uh, really? electric yeah. bass, you know, uh, so he plays in his projects. And then of course, I have the bluegrass jam connection with Kim and Mark. And so, um, yeah, it's just a lot of music, just like to play a lot of music, uh, you know, whether it be, periods of playing more gigs or less gigs uh we're st we still play a lot yeah. you know but really built from community here oh absolutely a couple different pieces and, <laughs> absolutely. and our vibes mesh really well 
Well, that's that's the most important thing in a band. Seriously, yeah. you always get better at music. You can't become a better person all the time. So Words of wisdom. Yeah. That's when you're stuck in a band with people. For, uh, no, that's yeah. so true. Yes. <laughs> so we'd love to hear another tune. Obviously, we got a you guys sort of closing okay. out tonight with us. So. Uh, so I guess we already played Wildwood Flower, the <laughs> live version. Yes, yes. So, uh, Cannonball Blues. <laughs> right around the same time as the original version of Wildwood Flower that that our cover is based on. We're talking 1925. I mean, it's just ridiculous how old it is. Yeah. Probably, probably it's still going. Yeah. Bristol, Bristol Sessions, probably. Yeah, it's so good. That, that, that very first version that they did, it's been covered tons of times, I'm sure, over the years. Yeah. But uh, I just love that version. Oh, yeah. well, you guys have a very, you know, a, a very old sound to what you guys are doing. Oh, really? Which okay, is, cool. In, in a great way. I'm saying it has a lot of, like, you know, old character to it, which <laughs> oh, you just okay. don't hear a lot okay, anymore. Because okay. everything is just auto tuned and, like, sort of robots uh, nowadays. So I really like this. I like it. We do. We, we love house music. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but let's sort of pick your guys' brains quickly on, on your inspiration. You guys said, obviously, you joined this group together with a bunch of different, bunch of different angles and different, you know, Groups smashing into one, friends playing and all that kind of stuff, meeting at jams. All that. you guys started more on the electric side of things, yeah, and built that. So, what was your original like inspiration for music? What made you pick up a guitar your very first time? Just from listening to radio as a kid, just a very young age, and uh, yeah, I played saxophone when I was uh, like in eighth, seventh, and eighth grade. So that's my first instrument. For you, is oboe, right? Early, early on. And then, uh, I'll, so I'll just talk for myself, but uh, I probably, I'm Gen X, you know, I'm from that generation. So um, I probably picked up a guitar when I was in my 20s. You know, I'm from Chicago, originally born and raised, and that's where I was living when I was in my 20s. Playing in different bands like 
you know, punk, alternative, you know, that type of, or blues bands, uh, that's a big influence for me personally, the blues. How many of the artists in here are LA natives? We got two, so, two SoCal, <laughs> California. Almost, oh, really? almost, <laughs> almost. I and mean, you've been here long enough, or you were born close enough to? Almost. I've been here since 1955. Really? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you're, 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 it's yeah. one of almost, but the other one I like ten. <laughs> <laughs> and I know Mr. Sheldon here. Um, you might be one of the the most repeated players in this entire studio. Okay. Do you know how many times you've been in here? Uh, this might be my ninth or eighth performance. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Thank you. I haven't gotten tired of it yet. <laughs> I'm glad you haven't gotten tired of me. We have not gotten tired of you. Of course, we let you in every time. There's a special treat on your tent. There's a trophy. Oh, you're not okay. there yet. No. I have a. Uh, I live in the parking lot over there. <laughs> you can call me up sometime. We'll ship it right over there. <laughs> so, so we're are different parts of the country. Mark is from uh, New, York. New York. New York yeah. State. Yeah, upstate, Poughkeepsie. Upstate, you know New York, and Michael from uh, New Mexico. Really? So you got a little bit of everything. Yeah. All right. And where were you born? Yeah. I was born in Iowa. Iowa. You like your Iowa boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so this, is just, this is almost like Americana personified right now. It's really <laughs> represented in all different parts of this country. Well, this is beautiful. But uh, this is the, uh, we don't usually have bands of this size in here, so it's really fun to sort of have the group talk. Oh, going. absolutely. Yeah. It's, this is great. So, um, like I said, well, we're here for the music. So let's throw another tune in us. So here's another one that goes way back, public domain, In the Pine. It's been done in different ways. <laughs> Oh, 
When you first started listening to bluegrass, was it the modern stuff that hooked you, or was it the old stuff that hooked you? Mm, that's a good question. The one song, uh, one song really got to me, and by blues, bluegrass, in a good way, and by bluegrass standards, it's a newer song because it was written in like 1980 <laughs> 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 or maybe 90. So, so that's a that's a newer one. But what uh, was it? Uh, something by John Reichman, Salt Spring. Salt Spring. Yeah. Salt Spring. That, I mean, so incredibly catchy. And I didn't even know the bluegrass etiquette until about a year ago when I started playing it at, at the jam with the Bellas and, and, and the ladies. But um, What's the brief on the etiquette? I don't know anything. <laughs> well, there's etiquette and then there's song structure. It's like, here's your A section, here's your B section. Okay. The A section always repeats once, mm -hmm. and then it goes to the B section. Okay. Then that repeats, and then it goes to the A section, and and then there's the thing with the foot, the etiquette, where it's like okay, and I guess there's etiquette for we're gonna do a uh, turnaround at the end, or like a, what they call like tag it or put a tag on it. Yeah, basically, you gotta get someone calls a tune. Yeah. It's like on a jazz jam, so they call the tune, and then you play the you play the melody or the head, and then everybody goes around the circle, and you has you have a chance to solo if you want. And the other thing, the other big jam etiquette, especially if you have a lot of loud things, is you play <laughs> soft enough so you can hear the, the people do their, their uh, solos. That's, nice. That's probably the biggest <laughs> etiquette of all. And keep your fork on the left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's I thought he was serious about something show. for a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, uh, you seem to be the historian in the group of this on the bluegrass stuff. Yeah, he keeps yeah. looking into you. So have you been playing, is banjo your main instrument you've been playing your whole life or do you? I, well, I started, when I, I played a lot of instruments when I was a kid. So I played the, you know, the piano for a long time, my classical piano. And then when I went to college, I learned to play string bass and then a friend of mine gave me the banjo. And uh, so I've been playing it for a long time. And then I played guitar, classical guitar. But um, the thing that hooked me with bluegrass is uh, the real hillbillies and real scrugs, which probably nice. hooked, hooked most <laughs> banjo players, you know. Oh, yeah. And then, uh, so, you know, I go, I like the really old stuff, but I'm also very into uh, things that people like Bela Fleck does, where you do jazz and uh, contemporary stuff. And, you know, there's a, and there's a ton of really interesting young banjo players now that are doing all kinds of stuff. So yeah, it's cool. Sort of that top of the, the hill for me and I've seen him play sort of like oh nobody else can do what he's doing he's Feral Scruggs. Nice. Scruggs yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But, but even Bela Fleck oh, just oh, saying, oh, like, oh, somebody who's yeah. who's you know mashing up a few um, a master of a few styles yeah. in one which is really cool to see. Really there's cool. some people that uh, can hold their own with them though yeah yeah and they're pretty good so well, this town I've heard them play with them so. we need more banjo players in this town <laughs> and more it's fiddle true. players or, I mean I don't want to take food out of your mouth <laughs> well yeah well that, that's good I mean obviously you guys have a huge this this is a bluegrass band at its heart right? yeah that's the main thing you guys yeah. are doing a lot of traditional tunes like pulling a lot of history in here which yeah. is great because we don't you know we focus on a lot of original stuff but you guys are doing original spin of grass in yeah. here which is great to hear it's a new band name yeah it's <laughs> spin of grass yeah that's very important um I mean, you said you guys have a few more tunes, right, that you'll be able to throw at us? Sure, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, I think let's do more, and then we'll just keep picking your brains and, until the, the clock runs out. Okay, so this, this is a way to play Wade in the Water, gospel number. Wait in the water, wait in the water, children wait in the 
for you. Haley and I are in a duo and the hardest thing for us is to find a key that fits both of us. <laughs> How often are you guys going back and forth on picking a key? He does all the harmonizing, the writing for the harmonies, so, so he knows our range is really good. Oh, wow. I know her range already, uh, so it's uh, we could do it at any key. Any key? Yeah, any key. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, Think about this: If it's a dual harmony, yeah. If I, if I don't, her, if her note shouldn't be any higher than a C, mm -hmm. well, if it goes high, one step higher, I'll just take that note, oh. and she'll harmonize. And then you write a line, you write a line based on that. It's, uh, yeah. So your lines are like symbiotic. There's not like one melody line, the harmony line. It's Correct. Like both it, it, are harmonizing it, it, together. It, it, it sort of flips. That yeah. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds hard. I also think it's cool that you write the music yeah. down because like I don't know a lot of musicians and uh, like it's great skill to have. I wish I had that skill. So very cool. Uh, he has his own original technique for sure. Yeah, <laughs> what, one, one skill that I'm glad I learned playing with the, my bluegrass boys over here uh, is to do it on the fly. Do a harmony on the fly. I was not that good at, at that until about a year ago so like, and when I started playing bluegrass mm -hmm. at the jams, you know, just trying to harmonize what somebody's doing. And uh, that's so much fun. And now I like that too, you know? I like that too. I can't pick which I like better. But, but, yeah. So yeah, in bluegrass, if you have, uh, typically there's three part harmonies. There's one above and there's one below, typically. But what people can do is, the one that's higher, the high tenor, people can sing underneath. Mm -hmm. Then you can flip it around, and the one that's supposed to be low can be sung on high. Uh -huh. But they all mesh. So people learn to do that depending on the group. So That's cool. So if there's a group that's all women, they do it one way. But it's mm -hmm. the same parts, pretty much. It's all men, it's a little different. And at the jams, you have to do it on a fly sometimes. Right, right. Because somebody's taking what sounds like they, the melody part. If it's somebody's song, and they called the song, they may go back and forth between the melody and the harmony. So I don't know where they're going. <laughs> so you have to you have to be able to okay you're gonna go low okay I'll go high and then I hear them high and then I try to go low you know and that's kind of the fun of it yeah yeah. Well, this is an institution of higher learning, so thank you for educating us on all this. <laughs> don't University, that. Yeah. yes, we're learning things. I like that. Um, so I think we have time for one more from you guys. But before before that, I want to know for all the listeners that are you know enjoying what you guys are doing, is there anywhere they can find you out in the real world um, to listen to this? Uh, like if they want to see us live. Sure, so yeah. so we, uh, oh, the Monrovia Friday Night Street Fair uh, in February. And there's more information on our Instagram page Which of, is, for, for that. Uh, just wild rust or wild dot rust. Right. And uh, yeah. Well, that's good to know. Uh, we, we live in a digital world. So. We'll keep it updated. And where is the Bluegrass Jam? Yeah, yeah. Where, where's the Bluegrass Jam you guys mentioned? Oh, uh, the Bluegrass Jam is at Lawless Brewing Company Ooh. in North Hollywood. It's really good. And, uh, every Wednesday. At, uh, yeah, every, every Wednesday. Six to nine. Yeah, I, I, thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a lot of fun. Brewery, lawless. 
Well, great. Well, if you guys don't mind taking us off with another tune. And okay. Uh, I mean, I, I like it, but it's not. A, uh, oh, uh, I guess we don't want to end on a slower song. Yeah. So, so you want. Well.
Dios.